I high key thought this was not gonna work. Hey guys, Madison here. Hi guys, Madison here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are kind of, it's kind of a watercolor eyeshadow makeup tutorial, but I'm also following someone who I found on TikTok. I'm following her technique. So when it comes up to like what the name of this video is gonna be, it's kind of up in the air between like watercolor makeup tutorial to a, you know, following TikTok uh, beauty routine techniques. Either way, I'm kind of combining those two because I saw this girl do this and it looked insanely beautiful. Now with Instant Influencer coming out, you saw the James Charles watercolor eye look. And with that being said, a lot of watercolor eye looks have come out. Now, when I thought about doing this, I was like, I don't, there's no way I could do it. Like, I just did not have confidence in myself. And then I saw this girl's TikTok. I'm gonna show her full TikTok. I might have to speed it up for the music and YouTube being mean, but I might just speed it up, but I'm gonna show her entire frame so you can see her username. I will also link her in the description, her Instagram and TikTok. She does not have a YouTube channel or anything else, but the social media account she does have, I will link her below, giving her full credit. She's the first person I've seen do this. I don't know if anybody else has started this, if this was a trend, but from what I saw, she was the one to do it first. So I'm giving all my credit to her <laughs> and I did not come up with this. There we go. It's, it's been said, I'm not stealing an idea or a look or a technique. Either way, I just wanted to get that context out there so nothing can be said in the end. We love giving people credit here. Context over, we're gonna watch her TikTok and then we'll talk about it. Now, as you can see from the TikTok, she had a piece of tissue paper, eyeshadow, and she just dabbed it on her eye and really layered it up and it made a really cool watercolor type effect on her eyes. That's what I want to achieve with this makeup tutorial. I wanna try it out. I wanna see how it looks. I'm very like colorful type shirt that matches this bandana and <laughs> I wanna kinda match it with the eyeshadow look. I want something really weird pop of color type look and that's what we're gonna try and achieve today. First off, I am priming my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer and I'm just going to dab some onto my eyes and pat it down to make sure my eye look stays in place. Okay, so I have a lot of tissue paper here because I don't know if like the size of it really affects how it's going to look on the eyes, but I'm taking my Profusion Festival palette. It has a bright yellow, a bright pink, and a bright blue, and we're just gonna kind of recreate my shirt, but on my eyes. So I think I've decided I'm going to dab my crumpled um, tissue, <laughs> my crumpled tissue paper, and I'm just going to dab the yellow on my inner corner. And I'll probably do like a different, that looks really cool. That actually, that actually looks good, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna probably do a different type of design on the other eye. But this is, this is pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. That actually went on pretty well. Hmm. Take another one and dip into the hot pink. I think it's funny that I'm trying to match this shirt when, honestly, I'm trying to think of what article of clothing of mine doesn't have a story, but this shirt has a story. It was from a company that tried to like scam me into working with them. So the fact that I still one had this shirt and still wear it is amazing. I think it got to the point that I was like, you know, I didn't know it was coming. It took forever to get to me. And by the end of it, I realized what a scam the whole thing was. And I just felt bad, which I need to do like a serious video on, you know, different agencies and how they try to scam young people <laughs> into like buying clothing for like partnerships because and I've said this so many times. I'm now fixing to dip in with a blue, but I've said so many times on my channel and on TikTok, if a company wants to work with you, they're gonna work with you. They're gonna send you free stuff. They're gonna treat you as part of the company. They're gonna treat you like family. It's gonna be an amazing time. By the end of it, if they don't, if you're not pulling a lot of money or something, they might treat you like crap, but at the very end of the day, you get free product out of it. 
they will never make you pay to work with brands. Honestly, this is looking like the James Charles Instant Influencer. But that's just because of the shirt, but that's a close-up look of this. And the reason the yellow looks so dope is because I went over that like twice. I've only went over the pink and blue. I've only done once. I haven't went over those again. So I'm going to take the pink, go over it again, and then go over the blue one more time. Just to kind of give those different sparks of color. Oh, it's so cool. When I saw people doing these looks, I was like, there's no way. They have to be like, like cheating somehow. And then I saw this girl do this and I was like, is this how everybody's doing it? I'm kind of wanting that to go up more. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm genuinely excited. Now, I kind of want to do something with the bottom though. Let's see if we can dab on some dots down there. Okay, I'm going to go off camera real quick and completely reverse to the other eye. I'll probably do like pink, blue, yellow maybe. I definitely want a different scheme on this side because the way this shirt is, it has, you know, the blue, pink, yellow, and then on the other side, it's like just a weird, crazy combination. These sides don't match. You basically have two shirts, but it's very, very bad. <laughs> it's not that great quality, but it will look cute for pictures. But my eyeshadow definitely looks cute for pictures. I have decided I wanted to add some kind of shimmer to it. So we're gonna try to shimmer it up and see what happens. Ooh, I do like that. That is dope. I am not regretting some shimmer at all. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was gonna work. Or for some reason, I thought I was gonna somehow mess it up. I do like the color scheme. I think I do like this one a little bit better. This side is just a little bit more... I don't know, cohesive, whereas this one's kind of crazy, but then whenever they're together, it's like, and the shirt and the headband, it makes sense that they would be kind of everywhere. And I also think it's very cool that just regular, you know, paper towels that have little holes in it would give you such an awesome watercolor effect. I can't wait to kind of play around with watercolor makeup more now that I know how to do it. So right now I'm gonna go off camera, do eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and I will come back do a cute little lip on camera, and then that I think will be a wrap on our watercolor makeup tutorial. This is what the final eye look looks like. We have a nice watercolor moment. I did go with a thicker lash. I do like how it looks, because most of the design is up towards the top anyway, so it's not like I'm taking away too much from the eyeshadow look, but this was so much fun to do. I did not think it would work. I'm still mind blown by how mesmerizing it looks. But that being said, I'm going to put on a nice little lip and then we will be done. At first I did want to do kind of a maybe watercolor lip, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to look. So I decided that it was probably just too much going on on the face and that just a regular lipstick would do fine. So that's what I went with. And then we are done with this look. So yes, this is the final look. Thank you so much. If you stuck around this long, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Friday. And all of my social media is linked down below in the description. Also, so is all of the girl who created this technique. Her makeup is exquisite. It is amazing. She focuses a lot on the little details of stuff. So that makes her makeup look even better than normal. Like she likes a lot of little designs and stuff. So it's just dope. Check her out. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.